My name is Casco Zero Vlogs, and today we are going to be watching and reacting to a Molly Econobi or Exponobi, something like that. Look, I can't say her last name, but she blacked to me, all right? So I'm going to call her Molly. So this chick is saying that a bunch of simps and incels are calling beautiful women, who is this chick right here, mid, basic, average. She's saying average is bad. Average is a terrible thing. So we're going to watch this together. I'm going to break this video down and explain exactly why she's wrong, okay? I think this is also a chick that you guys told me to rate in the comments, all right? I've been seeing her name around. His name was very familiar. I think I've seen her before. You guys want me to rate her. So I won't rate her in this video, but I know who you guys are talking about now. So without further ado, let's get into the video right now. Maniac for that trap <laughs> Crawford, Naomi Campbell, Gigi, and Bella Hadid. When you hear these names, are you thinking absolutely beautiful woman? No. Or Let's talk about these women are like thirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, men and what men and women find attractive are two completely different things. But let, let's let's let her cook a little bit. Now there's an epidemic upon us, and it's a bad one of men on the internet calling clearly gorgeous and probably objectively beautiful women mid. For those of you who don't know what mid means, it means poor quality, below average, not that attractive. And according to Urban Dictionary, used to insult or degrade an opposing opinion, labeling it as average. So there's a question. When was average bad? When was average bad, right? Let's just, let's just, let's just for argument's sake, right? Let's say that a woman I find attractive, someone else says, oh, she's average. She's, a, she's basic. Why is that bad? Why can't a woman be average? She's not saying she's ugly. Like, okay, she's average, mid, basic, not high level, right? How is that an insult? You have to have average people so people can be above average. And the chick she's talking about is 30 or 35. She's old, dude. She's talking about an old chick. <laughs> or quality. Now, I see people on the internet using this to degrade the looks of women, and particularly female celebrities. This has been happening most recently to Margot Robbie with a viral tweet from a man by the name Nick Margot Robbie, all right? Now this is the chick to degrade. Remember, average is degrading now. So if you call a chick mid, basic, average, that's a degrading terminology, all right? Because you can't be average. Everybody's a 10, everybody's beautiful. But she's arguing for a woman who is 30 years old. She looks old. And by name, I didn't know who this person was. I actually had to Google this person. Now, I'm going to be honest, I saw this video before. Um, and then I reacted to it now. But I looked at this show. I'm like, oh, it's that old lady. She's supposed to be beautiful? I, I like blondes. Okay? I like blonde, blonde hair, blue eyes. But she's old looking, dude. I'm being honest. She looks old. She looks basic. Straight up. Marola, who said, this is her without makeup. Definitely. Now, he was, in fact. Okay, so <laughs> that's funny. I want you guys to look at this, okay? I'm going I'm to really break this down, all right? We have to. She's saying that this picture, let's zoom in, let's be realistic here, is not mid, like basic. That is literally a basic white chick. <laughs> like, what? Like, like let's, let's be, like, realistic here, right? Unless she has no makeup. Okay, she has no makeup. She's so brave, whatever. She's a literally an average chick. And it's, it's normal, they're like, they're people, okay, they're celebrities, whoop de doo but she's, she's basic, she's average, she's literally average, she's like an average, chick. this is literally the epitome of a five, without no exaggeration, that's a five, I promise you that's a five, go anywhere, go to Target, go to, go to uh, Starbucks, you see a bunch of chicks who like her, Caribou, I just, I've been to Caribou today, okay, I saw her there, <laughs> they're cloning them out, man, this is an average trait, high cheekbones, right, she's white, Blonde hair, what is that? Green eyes. I'm colorblind, so I'm gonna say green eyes. You know, she has those reptilian eyes. She's a basic chick, and that's okay to be a basic chick. Like without makeup, she's average, which is a good thing. She's not ugly. It's not like she's ugly. She's just average. She's okay. She's basic. You'll see her around anywhere. You'll see her at like CVS. You'll, you'll see her at Speedway. You know, you, you can literally see this chick anywhere, like on the metro. And it's okay. She's an average chick. This is how average chicks look. Nothing wrong with that. But then remember, guys. Remember, if you don't say she's beautiful, <laughs> right? You don't say she's beautiful, 
it's uh like derogatory. Oh, it's degrading women. Like, bro, come on. Let's watch the rest of this. It's not the first time that I've seen tons of men pile on a tweet like this and agree, especially when they're talking about different celebrities. Now, this happened recently to Amelia Clark, who starred as Daenerys Targaryen in Game of Thrones. This is a basic chick. What, like, I really want to, like, comprehend in her mind, right? Because men and women find stuff differently, right? So her opinion doesn't matter because she's not gay, right? When men find it attractive in mating, trumps what she's talking about. The same way if a guy's like, oh, that guy's ugly, blah, blah, chicks life him. What do you see don't matter, bro? Because he's getting the chicks. So he's obviously attractive, right? But if, like, look at this, bro. Come on, man. Let's, we, we gotta be, like, in the realms of reality here. Like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm trying to be nice about this. We have to be in the realms of reality here. What is pretty about that? She has crow's feet. She looks old. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying, like, okay, she's aging. She's, like, I don't know if she's aged, but I promise you. I'm gonna bring it up I promise you she's like over 30 or at 30. She looks old, <laughs> okay? She looks used up. She is not in her prime. She looks old. And you can just see, like, you can just see in here in the eyes, like, she looks old, man. And that's okay. Like, she's not an ugly chick. She's average. This is another chick. Well, I would say she's not average. I would say she's more, like, on the homely side of basic. 4.5, which is basic. I think the last chick was a 5, which is average. I would say her, she's like a 4.5, which is basic. And that's okay. She's basic. I think basic is right under average. You see an average chick. You see a basic chick. Basic chicks you see more often. Average you see a little bit less often, right? Because you go down because most people are ugly. You go down, okay, ugly, ugly. But she's not an ugly chick, right? She's actually okay. She's basic. Like, there's nothing special about her, right? But she's not ugly. But she's not cute. So she's basic. This is a basic chick. I don't use the terminology like mid, but she's basic, bro. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't know how this girl, like this girl who's talking looks better than both of those chicks. Like straight up, she looks better than both of those chicks. And she's arguing for a chick who's just like average. It's, it's mind boggling to me. She posted a selfie onto social media and was immediately piled on by large groups of men who were calling her mid and saying she didn't live up to the face she had in Game of Thrones. But wait, there's more. Here's a photo of Zendaya, who's modeled in Vogue, being compared to a McDonald's cashier, who is also very beautiful. I'll act. Let's see how she looks, okay? Let's see. Zendaya, yo, straight up. No, like, no exaggeration. The McDonald's chicks look better. That McDonald's chicks look literally better than. All of them. Looks better than chick talking to. That McDonald's chick is actually like a, an attractive chick. I'll give her like a seven. I'll give her like a seven. She's like, she's, she's a decent looking chick. Like, she's like pretty. All the other chicks aren't. Zendaya looks like, like a 12 year old. I don't know how anyone can find Zendaya attractive. She literally looks like a child. But like, if you like her, you find her attractive, you like little girls. That's a joke, okay? That's a joke. But in all seriousness, she's not, she's not a good looking chick. Like, she's, she's just like, I guess you could find her attractive, but there's nothing like sexually appealing to me about her because she looks like a child, right? So if you find her attractive, whatever, but I can't really rate her. Like, I guess she's average. She has a unique looking face, so she looks different than most, than most people, but she has a unique looking face because, you know, hmm, let me think. She looks like a child. But the chick right here to the right, the, the McDonald's worker, she literally looks better than all the chicks she's shown so far. Like, she's the best looking chick. Like, I'll easily give her like a seven. Easy. Like, like, it is so funny to how, like, what women think is attractive to men. Like, women don't know what attractive to men whatsoever. This is why there's so many single, lonely women. Because they're like, oh, the chick that's average, she's gorgeous. Like, no, she isn't, bro. She, she's 30. Come on. Or another of Zendaya being compared to that woman who was having some sort of mental episode claiming that she saw somebody. I know she's talking about. The chick that was saying she's not real. This chick, right? Zendaya, like right here, Zendaya to straight up look ugly. Like straight up, she's like a dude. She looks like Cloud 805. She looks like a man. But the chick, I will rate the chick who on the plane, she looks better than other chicks. I'm not even exaggerating. She looks better than the chicks. So the McDonald's worker looks the best in this video. Then I'll say the chick who's talking. Then I'll say she's not a real chick. The other chicks, they don't look attractive. They just don't. And then Zendaya, right here, looks like a Mexican man. Like a cool Mexican man, though. Not like a lame one. He looks like, she looks like a cool Mexican dude, all right? She looks cool, but like a dude. Mother of Margot Robbie. She's a hard seven, it says. You used to find a Margot Robbie. Hold on, we gotta look at these pictures, man. That's why I gotta pause it so much. Plus, I don't wanna get that copyright strike. Yeah. Okay, she looks better right here. She looks better right here. And like, pretty. Yeah, I'll say she's, I'll give her, I mean, I'll say she's more cute, but 
if you want to argue that she's a seven, she's pretty. What is wrong with her being a seven? Like you, this is so insane to me. Like, oh, she's a seven. She has some good tit. She's pretty. Like right, right here, she has makeup on. She's she's pretty right here. I'll give her that. She's pretty. I give her a seven. I mean, purse, I'll give her a six. But I can say, I, if you want to say she's a seven, fine. She's a seven. But there's no way she looks beautiful. Beautiful is an eight. She's not beautiful. She's pretty. Like, okay, I, I, she looks nice in a sundress. But it's like, oh wow, this chick is blowing my mind. No, absolutely not. Seven at best. All right. And I guess on average, she's average. You get what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, that is crazy. That arguing that she's a seven, like, get out of here, you silly. Every blockbuster video in 1994. And here's another one of Selena Gomez that says she looks different to me. I can't quite put my hands on what it is, but she's mid. Now, okay, we I made up a video on Selena. Well, we we know Selena on average. Like, I am about to get into that. Can't help but think that these are men living in their mother's basements, tweeting this stuff out into the ether because they have nothing else better to do. I don't know how somebody could be so. That's Miss Andrews, isn't it? About that, it's a problem that's going to be exacerbated in this modern time that we're in because of things like social media and filters and Instagram baddies and BBL culture, where women are starting to look less and less natural on the internet, and men are starting to take to less natural depictions of womanhood on the internet. Part of me likes to think these men are just trolling. Link, but they don't act false that dog is adorable that's false in fact most men find natural beauty the most attractive reality check she's not that attractive she's 30 man how many times i have to say this she's 30 she looks old <laughs> she's like an auntie so she's trying to be like the auntie that's still cool and got it you know baba's burgers linda's sister that's what she looks like all right she looks old she looks like auntie. She like she should be cool at the cookout. Like she wears sunglasses inside. Like like she wears a bathing suit at the cookout. Like she's always this crazy auntie. Like she she doesn't look good, dude. That is the truth of it. Guys don't like guys want to have sex with the BBLs and all that stuff, but no one wants to actually marry that. They want a natural girl who has a very low body count. Chicks don't know what guys want. It's just so obvious. This is crazy, man. The dog's adorable think that these women are mid like you could not possibly look at the face of margot robbie selena gomez amelia clark and think that they are below average or maybe lots of insecure men are creating this epidemic on the internet does she not just contradict herself mid is average right like mid mid tier average in the middle mid literally middle right she just said below average like come on man where they know deep down in the dark dank room that is their mother's basement they will never she be hates one chase men that's that woman Margot Robbie. and that is them lashing out on the internet because they know that is something that they will never be able to expect in their own lives or maybe it's reactionary to some of these women that we're seeing on the internet who constantly refer to themselves as tens maybe we've gone so far with self-love culture and blind positive affirmation that men are now reacting in this way calling objectively beautiful people mid or it's just salacious internet culture you put out something but like you can't say objectively beautiful women the chick this i get what she's trying to say but like you're a woman like shut up go, go make a sandwich or something like that all right go, go make a sandwich like you get what i'm saying go go make a sandwich go do something useful right like you waste it's a wasted mouth that's what i used to always say it's a wasted mouth go do something useful with your mouth <laughs> but in all seriousness she don't know what she's talking about she has literally no idea what she's talking about. I think that's pretty much all of it. Let me see if there's anything else. And lastly, it could be that they truly agree. It could be that Nick Farolas here really thinks that Margot Robbie is definitely mid. And if so, Nick needs to check himself out up here. Why would he need to check himself out? She's 30, man. How many times do I say this? She's 30. She's 30. She's old. She's 30. She's old. She's 30. She's old. She's 30. <laughs> Like, bro, she looks old. I'm not saying like, oh, you're 30, you're ugly. She looks 30. That's my point. She looks 30. She looks old. She literally looks like she's old. Guys don't want old ladies. 
that many men feel uncomfortable when it even comes to talking to a woman in person, let alone asking her out on a date. But it feels as though some of these same men are perfectly comfortable hopping on the internet and calling somebody like Margot Robbie mid. And I get it, right? Beauty is aspirational. There's always going to be somebody who is more beautiful on the internet, especially with things like this incessant need to just scroll through and look at different people's faces and compare them to one another. And in that modern reality where you can constantly find somebody who you find more attractive or more beautiful, maybe to you Margot Robbie would be mid. Maybe she does slowly fall down the ladder when we have things like social media and filters and AI to create perfect images of human beings. And when you're constantly inundated with images of perfect human beings and attractive people, maybe it does strike something in us that drives us to call beautiful celebrities mid. They feel untouchable. Maybe we're convinced that they in no way, shape, or form could be harmed by bullying on the internet given their status. Who cares? But I can almost guarantee All right. you, spending your time engaging... She's talking too much. What are you guys my final thoughts? Oh, you're bullying them. Think about the celebrities. They rich. They don't care. Oh, but, but the celebrities, they read the comments. Stop reading the comments. Like, you're a celebrity. Like, you sold your soul. Like, you're, you're, you're done, bro. Like, who cares about what celebrity think? Okay. So, ultimately, what I'm taking from this, all right? She's out of touch with reality. The chick is 30, man. Now, if she was like, I don't know, 19, 18. Oh, he's a predator. Oh, oh, oh 18, 19. That was legal. Oh, why you like young chicks? If she was that age i think she'll look a lot better but she just looks old that is what it boils down to the chick that she listed maybe she's a fan of them and she got hurt i know a lot of chicks like live uh like themselves through celebrities and maybe she's one of those chicks or right? i don't really watch this chick's content i know of her um i think i watched a one video of hers a really long time ago so i have nothing really bad again like to say against her but she has no idea what what uh guys like and what she says was beautiful for her who cares because the guys are the ones who are giving chicks value, right? So who, who cares if, if she authentically believes that 30-year-old woman looks beautiful? What is seven? What? No way. If she really believes the 30-year-old is so beautiful. Cool. Good for you. But men don't. She's, she's mid, right? Or she's average. Really what she is. She's average. And that's okay. Because being an average 30-year-old, you're rich, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Who cares? The point is that she's old. You can't change it. Not, no, matter, no matter how much money you have, no matter how hard you try, no matter how, many, no matter how much baby blood sacrifices you do, you, you still look old. All right. That's, that's kind of a jab at Kim Kardashian. Ha, ha, ha. I'm funny. But ultimately, I think she just needs to understand what guys like. And it's like, oh, maybe they're just in their basements and stuff like that, like, is that not Miss And Miss Miss Andery? Miss Miss Andery. Miss Andery. Is that not Miss Andery? Is that Miss Andery? Like, oh, if 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 they think a chick looks bad, then they're a nerd, a loser in the basement. How about she's just old and ugly? How about that? You ever thought about that? Maybe, maybe, maybe the guy is actually doing really well. Maybe he has maybe he's banging 50 chicks a day. Alright? 50 50 chicks a day. Maybe that's what he's banging. He's like, that broad is old. And a bunch of guys are like, that's an old broad. She's average, which is okay. Is that so hard to believe? They ever thought about that? Stop being sexist. But in all seriousness, I was going to shine a little light on this. This is like ridiculous. You can't even call a chick average. Otherwise, something's wrong with you. You're a dweeb. You're in the basement. Get off the couch. You eat Cheetos. You're fat and ugly. Like, this is, a, this is a basic chick, man. This is really what she is. That's why I make these videos. Is she beautiful? Because chicks are so out of touch with other chicks, like, attract, like looks and attractiveness. These chicks aren't special. They don't look good. They're not attractive, right? The majority of them. And then when the chick's finally average, you call me average? There's too many simps. I blame the simps. If, if all the simps wasn't putting all these chicks on a pedestal, of, like, of, of all these people stop being simps, right? I think the simp culture is blamed for it. I don't always go back and start blaming guys. But, like... You guys are letting the chicks think this, man. If you're like, look, this chick is basic. This chick's average. Like, actually, the really beautiful chicks that, like, keep them up. Like, that, like that. This should be, a, like, super, like, it's beautiful. If beautiful is really beautiful, right? There should be a very small amount of chicks that are beautiful. Not a 30-year-old chick. You can say she's good looking for a 30-year-old, but to be like, she's over a 7, I'm sorry, you're not. Find a husband. That's what she needs to do. That's why you need a husband. Because your husband's always going to think you look beautiful. Not other guys. Like, that's an old lady. Where's your husband? <laughs>
<laughs> that's all I got for the video, man. I want to know you guys think. You guys think she's beautiful. You guys think she's 70. You guys think that she's an 8. You guys think she's a 5. You think she's mid. What do you guys think? Am I crazy? Am I, am I sexist? All right. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. Help me get my video out there in this jungle that we call YouTube. I'll further ado, that's going to be it for the video. Remember, I'm not here. I'm just confident. And thank you for watching.